let me move on to the data interpretation question so friends initially they have given a table chart so friends here they have given total number of students are 24,500 and uh, there are four columns in a table chart and the first column is education that is electrical electronics arts and science mechanical architecture and computer science and the second column they have given students and all the values are in a percentage and the third column is female and also all the values are in percentage and similarly the fourth column is male so friends the complete chart where all the values are given in a percentage so friends first of all let me analyze what are all the data that they have given in the chart clearly so friends first of all they have 24,500 students and this 24,500 students are separated into various categories that is electrical electronics arts and science and similarly other subjects so friends listen carefully friends out of this 24,500 11 percentage of students are studying electrical so out of this 11 percentage 60 percentage are female and 40 percentage are male so friends got the logic out of this 24,500 10 percentage are computer science out of this 10 percentage 44 percentage are female and 56 percentage are male similarly out of this 24,500 where 24 percentage were arts and science out of this 24 percentage 45 percentage are female and 55 percentage are male so friends let me move on to the first question of this table chart what is the ratio of total number of males in electrical and mechanical engineer to the total number of female in the same field so they have given some of the options so friends our target to find what is the ratio in the particular field that is electrical and mechanical male is to electrical and mechanical female so friends our target to find that is electrical and mechanical that is total number of students who are studying electrical and mechanical that is male is to electrical and mechanical that is female so so friends if you solve this question by using a normal method then you can't able to solve these types of question within one minute it will surely makes you to solve more than two and a half minutes so friends there is a method to solve these types of question faster listen carefully friends first of all our target to find electrical and mechanical the total number of males so first of all let me target electrical male friends we know that the total number of students are 24,500 so friends listen carefully out of this 24,500 how much percentage are electrical 11 percentage of students are studying electrical so out of this 11 percentage male are in a ratio that is 40 percentage so friends got the logic out of this 24,500 11 percentage are electrical out of this 11 percentage where 40 percentage are males so plus next thing is we need to find what is mechanical similarly mechanical is 21 percentage friends so out of this 24,500 where 21 percentage are mechanical so out of this 21 percentage where 20 percentage are males so finally we have found that electrical and mechanical male so next thing is electrical and mechanical female similarly friends out of this 24,000 I think I can write here so out of this 24,500 where this 11 percentage are electrical and female is 60 percentage so 60 percentage are female and similarly next is out of this 24,500 so next is 21 percentage where 21 percentage will be mechanical and where girls that is female or 80 percentage so 80 percentage are female so friends so friends by seeing this it will if you solve normally it will take you definitely more than five minutes right why because out of this 24,500 you need to see what is 11 percentage then 40 percentage similarly here we need to add both then finally we need to find a ratio for male and female friends listen carefully there is a method right just cancel 24,500 24,500 and all the 24,500 because in all the values where we can find 24,500 so we can directly cancel all the values second here we can find two percentage similarly we can eliminate two percentage in all this region two percentage 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 so finally we have eliminated all the percentage next step friends see here friends here it is 40 and 11 right and here it is 20 and 21 is to 60 and 11 here it is 80 and 21 so let me write all the values properly so friends 40 into 11 so 40 into 11 so plus next part is 20 into 21 so 20 into 21 ratio second part friends 60 into 11 so 60 into 11 plus next will be 80 into 21 so 80 into 21 
so friends check whether we can cancel this all the value in any table friends i think we can cancel this on 20 table see friends 20 table one times if i cancel this on 20 table two times if i cancel this on 20 table that is three times then again 20 table four times so finally we need to cancel all the values right all not only this value we need to cancel all the values in a 20 table so one this is two times that is three times and four times i think we can't able to cancel anything so 2 into 11 will be 22 so here it is 21 a ratio 3 into 11 will be 33 so 4 into 21 will be 84 so finally 22 plus 21 will be 43 and this will be 117 so finally we got the ratio that is 43 is to 117 that is option number d so friends don't use a traditional method to solve these types of questions that will make you more than three minutes so friends better cancel all the 24,000 and cancel all the percentage and finally strike it out in 20 table don't strike only 20 and 20 here right if you need to strike it out in 20 table you need to strike it out all the values so 20 22 is 40 23 is 60 and 24 is 80 so finally we got the ratio for the question number one that is 43 is to 117 question number two the total number of students in mechanical is what percentage of total number of students in arts and science so friends if you are going to learn a data interpretation the most important formula is x is what percentage of y x is what percentage of y in my many videos i have told you this basic formula x is what percentage of y that is x divided by y into 100 so friends this looks like a format called see here, the total number of students in mechanical is what percentage of this looks like in a format called x is what percentage of y so here the numerator is total number of students in mechanical and the denominator is total number of students in arts and science into 100 so friends listen carefully first of all our target to find total number of students in mechanical so total number of students in mechanical is 21 percentage out of this 24,500 where the total number of students who are 21 percentage so friends 24,500 so out of this 24,500 we know that the numerator is mechanical so mechanical is 21 percentage so 21 percentage of students are studying mechanical divided by and here it is y that is denominator the total number of students who are studying arts and science and arts and science is 24 percentage similarly out of this 24,500 where 24 percentage of students are studying arts and science so x is what percentage of y so x divide by y into 100 so friends we can cancel 24,500 24,500 of determines multiplication right similarly we can cancel the percentage and percentage so finally we got a value that is 21 divided by 24 into 100 i think we need to divide this 21 by 24 so friends let me divide 21 divide by 24 right and here it is 21 into 100 will be 2100 so friends 24 into i think uh, if i multiply 24 into 8 times friends listen here friends if i'm just going to multiply 24 into 8 8 fours are 32 reminder will be 3 16 3 19 right so we got 192 friends so friends 8 fours are 32 3 and the reminder will be 3 so 8 2 are 16 16 plus 3 will be 19 so 192 resultant will be 180 friends so friends listen here the starting number is 8 so we can surely eliminate the first option that is 9 and this option that is 6 this can be an answer this can be an answer i can eliminate this option so simultaneously eliminate all the options right so friends 180 uh here there are two options one is 82 or it should be 87 so friends definitely it can't be multiplied by two table if i multiply it by two table 24 into 4 into 2 will be 48 right here it is 180 so surely i will say that it is a multiple of 7 so only we can get an answer right we can't able to multiply this by 2 if i multiply this by 2 then 24 into 2 will be 48 but here we are getting 180 so we can definitely eliminate the option number 3 I can say that option number 4 87.5 will be your answer so friends always remember that don't think that we need to divide exactly right so just after dividing every value just see whether we can eliminate any option so that you can get an answer easily question number three the female in electronics is what percentage of male in computer science so friends we need to find the female in electronics is what percentage of male in computer science so friends listen carefully is what percentage again the word we can see is what percentage so we can surely say that x is what percentage of y
so this question looks like a format called x is what percentage of y? you know the formula is x divided by y into 100 so friends wherever you see this word is what percentage then definitely it is a formula that is x is what percentage of y x divided by y into 100 where the numerator x is female in electronics and the denominator y is male in computer science so friends first of all female in electronics what about female in electronics is 60 percentage so out of this 24,500 11 percentage are electronics out of this 11 percentage where 60 percentage are female so friends out of this 24,500 electronics that is 18 percentage so 18 percentage or electronics out of this 18 percentage where 30 percentage are female so 30 percentage divided by and the denominator friends denominator male in computer science so friends where male in computer science is 56 percentage so out of this 24500 where 10 percentage are studying computer science so out of this 10 percentage 56 percentage are male so 24500 so out of this 24500 where 10 percentage are studying computer science out of this 10 percentage 56 percentage are males so we can cancel 24,000, 24,500. So friends into 100, right? So x divided by y into 100. Similarly, we can cancel all the percentage. So finally, we can get 30 into 18 divided by. So friends, here it is 10 into 56. So 10 into 56. 56, right? Okay. So friends, I think we can cancel this, right? 1 10s one are 10, 10 3s are 30. And uh, similarly, we can cancel this on two table friends. If I cancel this on two table, that is 2 2s are 4, reminder will be 1, that is 16, 8 2s are 16. So divided by 28. And uh, if I cancel this on two table, that is 9. So finally, we can say that 27 divided by 28 into 100 friends. So this can be written as 2700 divided by 28. So friends, always remember that don't try to use shortcut on division you can use a shortcut on multiplication but don't try to use shortcut on division right so 20 that is 2700 divided by 28 okay 2700 divided by 28 so friends listen carefully here the starting number is 7 starting number 8 starting number 6 starting number 9 and starting number 5 so definitely the starting number will not be 4 or 3 or 2 1 because all the starting numbers are more than 5 so friends let me do one thing let me take the starting number as 6 if the answer is not coming at 6 table then we can eliminate 6 and we can also eliminate 5 friends got the logic okay first of all let me multiply this 28 into 6 friends if i multiply this 28 into 6 listen here friends 8 6 are 48 reminder will be 4 6 2 are 12 168 definitely we can't write 168 because it is not nearer to 270 so i can say that first number will not be at 6 so we can eliminate the first number 6 and also the first number 5 so friends got the logic if i multiply this 28 by 6 we are getting 168 but it should be approximately nearer to 270 right if we are dividing it should be nearer number so definitely 6 will not be the answer first number so if 6 is not there in the first number then definitely 5 is also eliminated so friends let me do one thing we have eliminated two options so remaining are 7 8 and 9 so let me see what is when we multiply this by 9 table so friends when we multiply this by 9 table so i think 252 right so 252 so friends finally we can say that 252 252 will be approximately nearer right so 252 i can say that 252 so definitely 28 into 9 the resultant will be 252 the starting number will be definitely 9 it can't be below 9 friends so starting number 9 that is option number 4 so i can say that the option number 4 that is 96.43 will be your answer so friends only thing don't try to use shortcut for division just better follow this method so that you can if you practice a lot and lot of sums so that you can easily crack these types of question in your exams question number four what is the ratio of number of males in architecture to the number of males in electronics so friends always remember that in the first question itself i have told you if our target to find the ratio for these types of question we can directly say that that is we can directly write the step we don't want to write the unnecessary steps like in the first equation why because we know that 24500 left hand side and right hand side 24500 will get cancelled and similarly here both the percentage and here both the percentage will cancel so we can directly write this as number of males in architecture since number of males will be 65 percentage and the total will be 16 so we can write directly that is 16 into 65 
ratio friends got the logic if i need to write in a normal procedure that is out of this 24500 16 percentage on architecture out of this 16 percentage 65 percentage are male this is the normal procedure right so similar right hand side a same procedure we can cancel 25000 24500 24500 so we don't want to write those unnecessary step right so friends second thing number of males in electronics electronics number of male will be 70 percentage and the students that are 18 percentage total is 18 out of that 18 17 percentage are male so we can directly write this as 18 into 70 okay so friends now uh, let me try to cancel this on two table nine times if i cancel this two table that is eight times again cancel this on two table that is four times if i cancel this on two table that is 35 i think we can cancel this on five table if i cancel this on five table seven times Similarly, if I cancel this I table, that is 13 times, right? So 13 into 5 will be 65. So friends, I think we can't be able to cancel anything. So let me write this as 52, then 9 sounds are 63. So the finally, the answer will be 52 to 63. So we can say that the answer that is fifth option, 52 is to 63 will be your answer. So friends, after watching all the four questions, don't forget to solve the fifth question. That is, what is the total number of male students in all the fields together? And the answer is 1, 2, 3, 4, 8. So friends, don't forget to watch all the remaining data interpretation questions.